Evolutionary trees are used to build up a picture of how closely related different species are, but they can hold some surprises. Did you know? Rhinoceroses are more closely related to horses than they are to elephants. Today, we're going to learn how to interpret these type of trees. Evolutionary trees are made using current classification data for living organisms and fossil data for extinct organisms. You need to know how to interpret them. The species name are put along the top of the diagram. I've used letters here to keep it simple. The time frame will be given, usually in millions of years, and you read across from it until you reach the branches. Where two branches meet, it shows the last common ancestor between two species. Where the branches split is where speciation occurred. Species A and B and all of the other species evolved through natural selection. Branches that split recently are closely related species, like B and C. Whereas branches that split a long time ago are distantly related species, like A and D. You can be asked to collect data from evolutionary trees. For example, when did species D evolve? Just find the species on the diagram, read down until the branch splits and across, and you'll get your answer. And species D was about 7.5 million years ago. If there is a species whose line doesn't reach up to the top or to the zero million years mark, like species E, then this shows us that that species went extinct. In the case of species E, we can read across and work out that it went extinct 2.5 million years ago. Okay, time to try some questions. Pause the video, give them a go, and press play when you're ready to go through them. 1. When did orangutans evolve? So, we find them, we read down until the branch splits, read across, and that looks about 11 million years ago. 2. What is the closest living relative to humans? So we're looking for where it most recently branched from, and we read up, and we see that it is chimps. 3. When was the last common ancestor between gorillas and gibbons? Okay, so to do this, we read down until the branches will meet. You can't go back up, you just have to keep reading down and across. And we find out that they had a common ancestor around 14 or 15 million years ago. If you got that question wrong, pause and try the next question on your own before pressing play. 4. When was the last common ancestor between chimps and orangutans? So, we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll read down and across until the branches meet together. And we can see, this time, it was 11 million years ago. And finally, 5. Which primate is the most distant living relative to humans? So we're going to look for the one that branched the furthest time ago, or the longest time ago. And in this case, it was Gibbons. How did you do? You just finished the topic of inheritance. Next up is the ecology topic, and it's the last one of paper two. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.